Aloha, my name is E.K. Payne, and welcome to Talk. I thought, I thought since this was the first episode that I would give a little bit of an introduction about myself and go from there. My name is E.K. Payne. I am a sustainable farmer on the big island of Hawaii. Myself and my partners, Michael and Lance, we grow food, we grow plants, and we give to our community. We are also activists in the fights that are going on from geothermal to building codes and GMOs. We also are part of the founding core of Occupy Hilo, and we protest regularly. We also go down to county council to get our community involved so that they know what's going on. So they're not left out in the dust and they have a voice. That's the most important thing is making sure that everybody has a voice in the things that are going on in our community. Because for far too long, people have not been able to really be a part of their local and state government. And us, along with many other occupies, have a mission to get people more involved, get people to stand up, get people to be counted, get people to make their voices heard. Just to give you a little reference about where we are on the big island of Hawaii, we are basically 2,600 miles away from any continent. The most, res- the most remote place in the world, in the center of the Pacific Ocean, And I must tell you that it's troubling because our government and our local and state officials seem to think that it's okay to bombard the people, the islands, and the communities with things that are unsustainable like geothermal and GMO products. There is a fight here over 20 years ago put on by Pele Defense and the Rainforest Action Group. They were instrumental in stopping geothermal from happening in Vaiokereo Puna. But for some reason, it didn't stick, and the government thought it would be a wonderful idea to put another geothermal plant smack dab in Puna, PGV. What a mess. The water is contaminated. Plants, animals are dying. People are getting sick and the corporation is doing nothing about it. They're saying they didn't know. Nobody told them. When there's evidence that shows that people have been telling them. They don't tell people the truth and they'll lie to your face as soon as shake your hand. And it's sad. And we're fighting it because the geothermal companies are threatening to take over our communities, our beaches, our parks our walkways all for the sake 
of business, of money, when honestly, is money really that important? Is it so important that you're willing to risk thousands and thousands of lives? It seems like our government thinks so. And that's why we need people to stand up. Be counted. Make your voice heard. Just like we have geothermal on the island, which will be spreading to most of the other islands, we also are in the middle of a big GMO fight with Monsanto and their money. Hawaii was never built on genetically modified organisms or their seeds. We come from a place of traditional farming, traditional practices, and traditional seed. Warmed by the sun and tended to by the people of Hawaii. We all come from a place of traditional farming. Farming is fun. Farming is hard work. But it has the biggest reward when you give a piece of fruit to a child or a keiki and they love it. You see the juices pouring out and you know that it's healthy and that you grew that. That's something that's important that Monsanto and the other corporations just don't understand. What happens to the health of the people? What happens to the hearts of the people? When you're feeding them so many things that are unnatural and unhealthy, you can't expect them to see straight or to understand that there's more value in traditional values in farming. Why take the easy way out? Because it gives you more money? Money can only take you so far. It's a piece of paper. But food is constant. Food is something that everyone can do. Food spans everything. And we should be giving everything to our food. Making sure that it's the healthiest and the purest that it can be. But no. We found an easier way of producing mass quantity of things when there's no need. Farming is about time. It's about understanding what the land that you're on needs. And by using GMO seeds, you're, you're taking that essential step out of what it means to be a farmer. And if people can't see that, then they are really jaded by the ideas of new cars, new houses, and all the things that the entrapment that money is can buy. I have an idea. How about we just start creating food forests and edible parks and places where people can go to just eat food. Clean, fresh, healthy food. 
how about we start being nicer to each other? How about we actually care about how our neighbor is? How about we want to lend a hand or stand next to our neighbor when an injustice is being done and know that everybody is standing together? I don't understand why people are not rising up against the things that are happening in the United States. It is majorly perplexing to me to try to wrap my brain around the fact that the people in the United States are so desensitized by the things that are going on because they can see it from all over the world on TV. Wow. What about your own backyard? What about things that are happening in your community? What about the people that need help? What about the people that want help? What about the people that want to help you? What about the people that want to know you? What about the people that just want to make things right and fair for all people? It's time for all those people to come out of the darkness and come into the light. Rise up, awakened soldiers, and make your voices heard.